Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here, and this video is going to be a Yu-Gi-Oh! discussion type video for the May 2017 format post-Maximum Crisis, because Maximum Crisis is just released to us, it's given us a lot of new toys to play with in the form of expensive ass Dragonic Diagram, the True Draco deck, Masterpiece the Fun Slaying King, Zodiac Chakram to, you know, facilitate further extension to the previous Zodiac plays that were rampant last format. All this sort of stuff has kind of amalgamated itself into a really interesting card pool of what we've got to play with including the like dinosaur structure decks being released like there's a lot of things that are different between now and as they were in april and so what i want to talk about today is that ycs pittsburgh is this coming weekend i will be attending so just as a side note if any of you are in pittsburgh and are attending the ycs in pittsburgh then definitely come look around for me i will be there the entirety of the event from friday morning until sunday I'm going to be in Pittsburgh really early Friday morning as well, so I'm probably going to be at like pre-reg or at least around the convention center a good amount of time. So if you're uh, if you're like just wandering around and you're in Pittsburgh and you see me, you can come up and say, hey, I mean, shit, I'm a really shy person, so I'm not going to approach you. And also, I don't know what you look like, so I mean, shit, but I'm really, really into talking to people. But anyway, side note tangent over. Anyway, what I want to talk about is that with Pittsburgh coming up this weekend, what is the best deck for May 2017? What is the best deck of this current format? Is a question that's really like, a lot of people that go into events ask themselves this question. It's like, what is the best deck? What is the deck that's best for this event, for this format, etc.? And honestly, there's no real objectiveful, like objectified way to state this or find this out without having results to back it up. So it's all merely subjective. This entire video is my opinion on what the best deck of this current format is based off the uh, knowledge that we have of what decks have performed, my own knowledge from testing, all that sort of stuff. But anyway, so straight out of the gate, the true Draco deck is basically really strong on paper. In theory, it summons Masterpiece. It does all of this sort of stuff that you would think is incredibly unfair, but unfortunately that deck is very limiting in terms of what it does to play. The card of Demise build specifically, it's very limited in terms of the plays that it makes. It's just mainly trying to force big things down your throat very, like, quickly <laughs> before you can have a chance to basically out the masterpiece. Now, whether this is a good strat, not really sure if it's going to be something that's, like, sustainable throughout the entire course of an American YCS or an American Nationals, uh, like, environment. I do know that the uh, True Draco, like, card of Demise deck won Belgium Nationals, like, the weekend of release. Um, I believe that that source is correct. I believe that that's the correct thing. I think it was Belgium Nationals. Uh, but regardless, so the deck has seen some success. It's seen some success on regional circuits and whatever. But it hasn't been seeing the overwhelmingly dominant success that I expected or that anyone expected. Anyone could have expected straight out of the gate. Um, especially since like the first few weeks of a set being legal, while very few people may have these cards the people that do could easily just go and dominate an event and be like the entire top eight of a regional would be like all true draco or something from all the people that have those cards it's very simple it's very easy that's been done before in the past where people that had specific things before anyone else did were able to just dominate events like left and right like it's it's definitely not something that's a completely estranged thing to the game but that's not something that we saw over this weekend. We saw a lot of Zoo. We saw a lot of, like, Draco Zoo. We saw some Metal Foes Zoo mixed in. We saw some weird random decks just like Light Sworn Zoo, Kaiju, Zoo Infernoid, stuff like that. We've seen a few, a few interesting decks pop in and out in terms of what top eight constructions of, uh, of regionals and events and stuff have been. I mean, I've still seen Paleo Frogs topping, which is a deck that... I completely thought would just die out as soon as the presence of True Draco was there. But the people that played Paleo were like, yeah, True Draco is a deck that we take the loss to, but we expect to not be playing it as much as, you know, you might think. I was like, alright, fair. Um, but still, I don't think that Paleo Frogs is the best deck at all. It loses to way too many factors. Um, I don't think any 60 card decks are probably going to be the best deck, specifically because of how they interact, um, like, in terms of... This is a very, very hand trap oriented format right now because True Draco didn't really dominate nearly as much as I was expecting it to dominate straight out of the gate. I was expecting True Draco to just be completely rampant from the few people that had the complete decks to just being like dominating top eights, dominating everything. And then as the format adjusted and more people found out how to play against the deck, and more people found out, like, more people got the cards, so the mirror match became more prevalent, so the deck itself became, like, 
worse in a sense because Masterpiece Turbo against Masterpiece Turbo is kind of a really shitty matchup uh, and stuff like that. Those, those sorts of things, I expected the format to shift into being more of a mellow thing towards Nationals, but straight out of the gate, like, I'm not seeing as much true Draco around as I thought I was going to see, and I've seen a good bit, and I'm not saying that it doesn't exist, but I've definitely seen a lot more Zoo than I have seen true Draco. Now, the thing is that I think the problem with this, uh, with building a deck this format is that if your deck does not contain Card of Demise or a Zodiac card, a Zodiac engine, I don't think your deck is capable of competing in the format. That's that's how I think. I think that your deck has to have either Carter Demise in it, so it has to be like Carter Demise Draco or like Paleo with Carter Demise in it and shit, just for the free quick pluses, or it has to have Zoo cards in it to also get that same amount of plussing off of a card or card interactions uh, in order for your deck to even be remotely competitive on a consistent basis, a consistent enough basis to top slash win an American YCS. So basically... Zoo is the stronger of these two picks. So, Card of Demise is a three of. I mean, yeah, it's cool. Uh, you can play in some interesting decks. The True Draco deck sort of helps get you into it um, itself in terms of how the deck functions. But still, it's lesser of a quantity than what we have in the overly abundant consistency engine that is Zodiac Beasts. So, Zodiac is arguably the best deck going into Pittsburgh. I'm really curious to see what the results from Pittsburgh are. Because I'm likely playing Zodiacs there as well. I'm very curious to see what my results are, my friend's results are, the results from the event itself, from Top Cut. But I'm going into Pittsburgh under the mindset of, I believe the Zodiac Beasts is the best deck to play at an event. Whether it's Kaiju Zoo or True Draco Zoo. I think Kaiju Zoo edges out just a little bit better in essence of the, the True Draco variant. The problem with True Draco right now seems to be that it loses to a lot of hand traps. Ghost Ash really hurts it. Ghost Ogre on Diagram is, like, killer. <laughs> and then uh, Droll and Lockbird kind of ends their turns as well. And this is true for almost any true Draco variant, whereas Zoo is a lot more resilient to these hand traps. And also, there's a there's an extreme lack of Dimensional Barrier in the format right now. It's not as prevalent as it used to be, and that only means Zoo can thrive more during this weekend's time span. So, ultimately, Zoo seems like it edges out much better in terms of competitive option, than any card of demise deck would and that includes like card of demise paleo that includes uh that includes um like true draco demise all that sort of stuff i don't think the the grass looks greener decks are consistent enough on their own especially considering that we're in a current like hand trap format right now with ghost ash ghost ogre droll and lockbird dd crow and max c all being amazing i don't think that the grass looks greener decks have the inherent consistency to draw those hand traps in order to be super relevant as well as the Infernoid matchup against Masterpiece is not really the best. I mean, Anunku is the only thing that really does anything there. Uh, because even Deviate coming out would just blow up the diagram and Masterpiece would still be at 2950. So you have to be able to out the diagram and then summon Anunku to attack over Masterpiece. And so that's, that's kind, of, kind of hard to do on a moment's notice on the drop of a hat, especially in a 60 card deck. Uh, so, like, there is that. There's all these different extenuating factors that come in back into play. I don't think that Grass Looks Greener decks are going to be the way forward for this format because Hand Traps are just killer against True Draco. They're pretty good against Zoo, but Ghost Ash, there's not really a very, very optimal place to Ghost Ash against Zoo. There are definitely places to Ghost Ash that are correct versus some that are not, but against Zoo, Ghost Ash isn't really that great of a card. Uh, it does stun their first turn play a bit, but it still lets them end with some form of resource or some form of board, and that is going to be something you're going to have to deal with. Uh, and then depending on how strong their hand is, they could just play through the Ghost Ash. So there's definitely that. But against True Draco, Ghost Ash, Ghost Ogre, and like Droll are amazing against that deck. So I don't know how that deck is going to survive this weekend, considering the fact that everybody knows this. Almost every good player knows how good these hand traps are against True Draco, and the consistency behind Zoo to allow it to draw multiple cards and get to these hand traps is insane in terms of what you're uh, capable of doing and what your ceiling is, what your output is. So, And Kaiju Zoo just lets you out Masterpieces really simply and really effectively. I touched on that previously, but I didn't go into any detail. I mentioned Kaiju Zoo. Uh, but Kaiju Zoo has been seeing a lot more success on little regionals and stuff like that than I've seen in a long time because you just Kaiju over Masterpiece. And then if you're also able to follow it up with like a board wipe, if you're playing it's like true draco zoo or something uh then you just you you are very good off in the position of the game state so there's a lot of different things that 
that just meld into just factors going into this weekend for YCS Pittsburgh for the May 2017 format uh, post Maximum Crisis. But long and short of it is, I think that I think that Pure Zoo or Zoo Kaiju is probably the best deck for this weekend and probably the best deck for this format. I'm a pretty big believer that if your deck does not contain Zoo cards in it, like I've already said, Zoo or Card of Demise cards, then you're not playing a deck that's capable of winning a YCS or topping a YCS. But Card of Demise is much less consistent than Zoo, and that's going to come up over an 11-round YCS. Uh, the Zoo deck is just so inherently consistent. Hand Traps are great against True Draco. They're okay against Zoo. Uh, Ghost Ash is great against that Grassless Greener decks as well, which is another reason why I don't think that deck is going to see too much success. Uh, like The Zoo deck just allows you to do a lot of these good turn one plays that allow you to draw anywhere between two to six cards. And like, you're not really going out of your way to do that. You're still ending with like standard boards, but you just drew two or six cards anywhere between there. Um, and so you could draw into hand traps, you can draw into regular traps, you can do all that sort of stuff. And then you have the concept of Kaiju Zoo, which lets you Kaiju over Masterpiece, which is the the card of the format people are calling. No, Ghost Ash is more likely the card of the format than Masterpiece. Uh, but then you just have these. Now, I haven't talked about True uh, King Dino because I think that deck is very fragile. I don't think that deck's capable of winning a YCS. I think it's definitely capable of topping one, but the problem is that deck is super fragile. Uh, there's very key points in all of its plays where if you just, like, strike them or stop them in any way, they end turn, and that's very, very, very bad for a deck. It loses to all the hand traps that Draco loses to that the format is very, very heavily saturated with right now. And then also... Like I said, if you strike or do anything at certain points in the combo, they just lose. Like, if you ghost ash a diagram when they're trying to pop a baby, they almost end their turn, like, on the spot. If you if you strike a, uh, a Earth True King out of the hand, like, Solemn Strike it out of the hand, they basically end their turn because they can't trigger their floaters and start getting multiple monsters on board. There's a lot of just different things that cause that deck to be really fragile. Especially when, like, you're putting Dryden on the board as well. Like, Dryden allows you to just pop whatever combo piece they're trying to establish with. And it just... It gets problematic. Very easily. So I don't think True King Dino is a deck that's capable of winning any YCSs anytime soon. Considering how heavily saturated the format is with the hand traps that are good against it. And with how good Zoo is in the current format. At least in my opinion. I think, like I said, I think Zoo is the best deck for Pittsburgh Weekend and for this month of the, of the uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! format. Uh, so there's there's multiple things against True King Dino that uh, that I think are reasons why I'm not gonna be playing the deck. The deck does so many cool combos too, but it's not like I, I've compared it in the past in videos to the Perform Age uh, Magician deck from before Breakers of Shadows came out, where you had Plush Fire and Luster interactions and stuff like that. But the problem is is that while the baby dinosaurs do work like Plush Fire, they are not Pendulum monsters. Plush Fire was a level four Pendulum that was searchable and also summoned floaters out of your deck. And so, like, that's a huge difference compared to what the dinosaurs do, where they summon floaters out of your deck, and they are searchable, but they're not the right level, and they have to be triggered by a much more specific circumstance, which is being destroyed only by card effect, whereas with, like, Plush Fire, Trick Clown, uh, Damage Juggler, and all that, you had all of this overwhelming support for it that worked really well and then at the end of the day you could pendulum summon back your plush fires that you triggered for your combos uh and so like dinosaurs don't have that so it operates on sort of the same access combo potential wise but it's also just incredibly flawed compared to the perform age stuff that we had in the past so that's why the deck isn't really that strong in the face of adversity whereas the perform age deck was a bit better but so anyway like i said i believe zoo is the best deck for may uh 2017 i believe zoo is the best deck of the format if you're playing in pittsburgh i think zoo is probably the deck to play at that event uh so there's definitely that all these all things considered but then again these are all just my subjective opinions let me know your opinions in the comments down below i would love to hear them basically i've just had you listen to me for 15 minutes talking about uh talking about why i think zoo is the best deck and why true draco and true kings have a few problems but um i'm gonna go into those in uh in a little bit more in depth in different topic videos over the course of the week possibly so if you want to see those then definitely let me know in the comments down below as well but otherwise thank you so much for watching let me know what your thoughts are again in the comments down below and as always links are in the description down below me to my facebook and patreon pages if you want to support the channel directly while also allowing some you know potential pipe dreams that i have for the channel to happen in the future come true a bit faster then definitely check out the patreon if you want to get access to my private discord server where me and a few others are just always talking and playing games and shit on a daily basis when i'm available 
as well as possibly get access into a monthly raffle giveaway for uh, from some Yu-Gi-Oh product at the end of the month. And definitely check out the reward tiers over there and see if there's anything to your liking that you'd like to do to help support the channel's growth and all that. But other than that, if you wish to indirectly support the channel while also buying or selling cards for yourself, then definitely check out Second Chance Gaming's website, which is also linked in the description down below. They are a direct sponsor of me and this channel, and I'm a big fan of how they do business with what I've dealt with thus far. They're... They've been going above and beyond and far as far as like helping me do things and all sorts of stuff for the channel. So I'm a huge fan of how they've been supporting me, and I'm a huge fan of like their pricing and shipping and stuff like that that I've seen on their site. So definitely check out their site and let them know that Phoenix sent you. But other than that, again, thanks for watching. Thanks for your time as usual. Again, let me know what your thoughts are on my uh, topics in this video in the comments down below. Like I said, I believe Zoo to be the best deck. I don't think True King Dino can win a YCS in this current format, and I think True Draco is overhyped and not going to see as much success as we would think in an American YCS environment because of the fact that it's really vulnerable to a, all the hand traps that are currently being played by all the in-the-know players currently. But those are the things that I talked about. If you want to give your opinions on them in the comments down below, then definitely feel free to do so. But if you made it this far into the video, give us a hashtag best deck in the comments and let me know you got this far. But other than that, take care, guys. I will see you in the next video. Sorry this video was so long, or maybe you guys like that. But anyway, take care.